Hello, I'm here to tell you about nature-based solutions and what they are uh, and why they are important for preserving and, and restoring uh, biodiversity. Let's first define nature-based solutions, what they are. So nature-based solutions are actions that involve people working with nature as a part of nature to address societal challenges, providing benefits for both human well-being and biodiversity. So, in other words, and to put it very short, it's about collaborating for biodiversity. Whenever we have projects to, let's say, restore uh, a stream, for example, we need to have uh, different people from different fields like engineers, uh, ecologists and other designers uh, and people who understand the whole project. This means that in order to have a proper collaboration, uh, we need to be able to communicate with each other. And this means that on one hand, engineers need to understand ecologists and ecologists need to understand engineers. And well, this is not always an easy task, but it's very much doable. So what the nature-based solutions can include they can, it can be a restoration of degraded ecosystems. Let it be natural ecosystems or modified ecosystems. It can include protection of eco ecosystems. Uh, from that part, we can actually protect the ecosystems. It can be and include uh, sustainable management of ecosystems for increasing their resiliency and biodiversity. There are plenty of examples available in internet, for example, uh, on, uh, of these nat nature-based solutions. And my materials will include uh, links to these uh, case studies and you can study them more uh, from there. Sometimes uh, you may end up discussing biomimicry also in the context of nature-based solutions. This is another quite interesting field uh, that I encourage everyone to, to learn about. Biomimicry means learning from natural processes, imitating them and applying them to buildings and, and product design, for example. Uh, now, when you start to think about biomimicry, um, it's actually a, an age-old thing. Before machines or before electricity, people survived with what was uh, available from nature. On, in one way, we can see these as nature-based solutions. However, the term nature-based solutions, uh, it was actually first time mentioned uh, in scientific literature in the early 2000s. And this was mostly in the context of agricultural issues. For example, uh, use of habitats for mitigating runoff for, uh, from farms, for example, or integrated pest management. Um, from the point of view of this course, I, uh, the nature-based solutions are first and foremost an invitation for ecologists and engineers to work together and learn from each other. On one hand, uh, ecologists need to understand some parts of the engineers uh, or engineering and engineers must understand ecologists uh, as, uh, as well. So it goes without saying that restoration of any degraded ecosystem uh, includes much more than just returning a degraded system to what it was before. Before we get to that point that we can actually start to see uh, changes in this ecosystem that we are trying to restore and return back to its natural state, it involves a lot of design, a lot of planning, understanding how the natural world works and of course funding uh, because nothing pretty much happens without uh, proper funding and so the economics is so is an important uh, part to take into account as well